Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your Queenie Ani and here and today's video is very very appropriate on what's happening right now in K-pop per se. Not really in terms of what's happening with 2020 because we know what's happening with 2020 but like i mentioned to you guys from the last time i really would like to be an open book on about my opinions about k-pop and everything and this started with Cheong's dating controversies and all and now we have a new topic for today so like i said this is very very timely it's because it's year-end award shows so aaa just done yesterday with a lot of delays a lot of chaotic moments and we're gonna be talking about that so if you would like to be on a loop or would like to hear some opinions about what's happening just keep on watching grab your snacks and we'll talk about this today we are going to be talking about k-pop award shows since it's already almost the end of 2020 can you think of that it's kind of like it's just days and then it's already almost 2021 and i hope that 2021 gets better but yeah going back to our sole topic we're gonna be talking about k-pop awards which is happening every end of the year so those are the activities that most of the artists are coming in and also doing by the end of the year so solely i'll be talking about twice of course since they are my bias groups and jyp nation but uh what i would like to address in this video is the toxicity when it's k-pop award season like i mean every year so probably know what i'm talking about and there's kind of like a hashtag trending going on right now so if you aren't in the loop you can check that on twitter but if you're kind of like a triggered fan might as well not do that but yeah we're talking about some hate comments and also some speculations going on about twice the twice aren't deserving twice is you know is receiving charity awards and i can't deal with that you know as a fan as a multi-stan but you know guys that i really really promote most of the time twice and also being loyal to them most of the time so i really wanted to talk about this it's because it's kind of very very toxic like i'll be flashing on the screen some of the comments that i was able to see on facebook and even on twitter like i don't even get the point why a specific fandom will hate twice every time there is an award show first one it is just an attendance show that they don't deserve the award that it is just charity and twice is sleeping with the judges that's why they got the award you know what i mean it's kind of like super duper duper rude and i'm not sure why they have that kind of thinking that every time twice when there's something going on or it is rigged or it's not fair well in fact there's a lot of artists in K-pop other than TWICE. Like, why go with TWICE? We, we have a lot of artists. It's like, those people are always invalidating TWICE hard work for five years. Like, invalidating all of the hard works on their albums, their promotions, branding, and everything. And I just hate that. 
I, I really hate that kind of thinking. And I'm not saying this, it's because I'm a hater of that specific fandom or that specific group. Well, okay, <laughs> let's not sugarcoat things. I'm talking about some blonks or blinks. I don't know what they call those people anymore. It's because it's very, very rare to see some blinks respect twice whenever there's this season this k-pop award season and it's just kind of hurtful it's because we are all working hard for our idols we are always busy we are working the best we can to stream to buy albums and everything and at the end of the day all of the artists are you know deserving deserving to be part of an award this shows but i i just don't get the point why you need to bring someone down and say some words that's really not appropriate at all just for you to put your girls up you know what i mean like saying that there, there is even one comment that i'm really really triggered that they said that twice just only got the award it's because mina and jongin has an anxiety like what kind of person are you to put that as a joke or put that as a sarcasm talking about anxiety talking about this kind of things just because Blackpink did not win the award. I mean, I'm not invalidating Blackpink's hard work. Like I said, all of the artists in the K-pop industry, not only in K-pop, really, really works hard when it comes to their music and everything. Even same goes with creators creating their contents and everything. Because I, I know how hard it is. Because from time to time, you'll think about what would be the next one that I'll do, what makes the my subscribers or my fans be surprised of what will they like what if they will not like this there's a lot of pressure so invalidating someone or using someone's weakness doesn't make you really powerful doesn't gain you anything and what i wanted to know is that they're thinking i i think I, I they really need to consult a doctor or consult a psychologist for some reason it's because that kind of thinking is not normal it's like you are not living a happy life it's like how can you sleep when you're when you know when you're 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 saying bad things to other people it's kind of like that and even on my comment section if you will be able to see guys i really filter all of your comments so i all read it i read everything and i'm glad that i was uh, i'm being able to be a creator that you know that that you see that you're being happy with the contents that i put up and if i can still improve something I am always looking into that. But then there's still some people who will hate you randomly <laughs> out of nowhere, out of context, saying that I'm ugly, I, I'm not beautiful, you're not beautiful, you look like a shit or something. I'm not claiming anything. Like, I don't know. That is, that is the time that I posted the... Uh, Denise picture that someone said that I look like Denise well I already told you guys that I don't know how they came up with that idea that I look like her because I don't see it's because she's beautiful and I know it in myself that I'm not beautiful okay so you don't you know you don't really need to say that kind of things to me but then going back to the situation that we have with twice in the fandom that i'm talking about i mean it's just very very unhealthy 
it's very very unhealthy you know you know when you wake up and you just wanted to try to check some updates on twitter on what's going on and the, the what is what is the activities that you probably missed about twice and then suddenly there's a tweet that's just con- congratulations or congratulate congratulating twice on their wins and then suddenly you'll see on the comment section that there's someone who's saying that oh blackpink is better than twice oh blackpink is better than twice and twice is just like nothing like i mean seriously like to tell you we have a lot of things that we could have said but we but we didn't although there are some because we know that all of the fandoms has this you know person or some percentage of fans who will definitely be with fan wars and also uh, speak shit out of everything so we all know that we have that in every fandom i can agree with that but then you know um out of nowhere it's just a congratulatory tweet and then you're there saying something bad and saying something that's not necessary i don't get the point girl i don't really get the point why you're there it's like i know i don't know that's so so shady and i just wanted to defend my girls it's because they're just doing their best and every artist are doing their best and to be honest with you aaa yesterday it's awesome but there is still some shocking of course awards that we really did not expect as a fan but that's that's normal but we don't really look into it as a negative thing or talking about it that okay that that specific award show is rigged it's because my artist did not win anything it's not like that they have certain criterias that those judges are only the people capable of you know uh, providing results and we can't do anything about it it's because it's there It's their opinion, it's their decision, it's their results. So whatever it is, what we can do is just accept it. Let's talk about Melon. Okay, let's talk about Melon. Melon, all throughout these years, I remember the last time the JYP even put up a request and even other agencies about a Sejagi or a chart manipulation about a certain artist which is i can't remember his name but he is a solo artist he is an unknown artist but then when the the song rose up that's the only time that he became well known so that's the reason why jyp tried to request melon to do a, um a check on that but then melon did not do anything and then right after that JYP decided, okay, I'm not going to let my artist to be there. It's because you're not, you know, you're not being serious in what we're trying to do here and being fair for to everyone. So, I mean, we've been there. We've been there. We've been to a lot of struggles. We've been to a lot of shows that, you know, not respecting twice and everything. But again, what we do or the what they call this the mature fans do was just to vote and support twice all the way and at the same time do the good things that twice want us to do it's because every artist will definitely be someone who will tell you that this is something that you should do as a fan you should not be doing this you should not be doing that it's because it's not good and that's how twice is always are saying you know every lives that they have they are always constantly telling us that do not be involved with fan wars it's okay we know who we are we know what we do trust us let's trust each other let's help out each other and then encouraging everyone just to be you know just let them be 
And I really love that energy. That's the reason why I really, really love Twice the most. And of course, God Seven Seventeen, which is Seventeen, is one of my newest, newest one that I just recently stand. But I really love their personality. That's one thing that I really love about the the stand groups that I like. It's because of their personalities, their humbleness, and everything. But going back to the soul topic, my advice is for you guys to think before you click. That's it. Like, think before you click. It's because words can be hurtful. And we, let's face it, there's a lot of times that because of words, someone died. I don't need to really elaborate who those people are, but you know let's let's think before we click and say something and as a fan we should support our favorites not the opponents or not any anybody else but not to the extent that you'll bring down someone because it's unhealthy it's unhealthy that i am thinking that blackpink deserves better like better fans that's the T. <laughs> That's the T that I wanted to talk about. Blackpink deserves better fandom. I mean, I really envy Blink because I was a Blink before. But then, probably I'll talk about that in a different video if you would like to know what happened. But I'm not a Blackpink hater. I love most of their songs. But I just, you know, uh, I just feel that it could have been better. It could have been better because it's just always the fandom who's dragging them down. That's how I feel. The The fandom is trying to drag them up, but they don't know that they're just dragging them down. It's because of what they're trying to do. It's like all of the controversies will be, oh, the fandom is there. The fandom is there. The fandom is hashtagging everything. The, the fandom is canceling everyone. It's like, it's unhealthy. It's really, really unhealthy. I mean, like I mentioned, I'm really, really envious about how good they are when it comes to you know, streaming, dedication for streaming and everything, but the dedication is overboard. And I just think that they need some realization. You guys need some realizations to do and stop. Stop commenting some specific things that should not be a debate at all. The end of the day, we just need to support our artists in the best way that we can in the most professional way that we can it's because it will really gonna be super duper 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 toxic when it comes to k-pop industry we know how toxic it is we know how pressuring it is most especially for our idols which is the reason why they're having anxieties hiatus and everything let's not add to that and let's just keep supporting them in the proper way that we can and just, you know, learn acceptance. That's the best way. Learn acceptance. If they don't win something, better luck next time. Let's do harder. Let's do better. Because the more that you will think about that, the more that you will earn or the more that you will have the best victory of your group, of your fandom will be. And that's how I feel as a twice and a got seven a jyp nation stan i really love them all and i'm so proud of them oh my god i don't want to tear up but yeah i'm really really proud of them it's because i know their hard work oh my god why am i crying i really know their hard work and just burst me out it's because there's a lot of speculations like this but oh my god yeah there you go guys that's kind of like a big talk that we have here but thank you so much let me calm down myself before i do my outro all right 
I managed to calm myself down. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for tuning in. And if you have some K-pop topics that you wanted to talk about, let's go ahead and do that. Next time, we'll do a live so that at least we can talk more. And also, you know, I, I would love to see you guys there. And I would like to know more about you guys. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and also to my artist channel for you to be updated if I will have a new music and a new video here. And also, don't forget to also subscribe to On Entertainment Official. Special. Yes, girl, I'm the creator of that. And if you're a fellow moots, you can definitely audition. We are looking for people who will debut here in the Philippines in the smallest way that we can. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Again, this is your Queenie Annie, and I will see you on my next one. Annyeong!